you know, this is road trip season is kicking off. Um, so my first question is, why have road trips become so high again? Well, I think the cost of gasoline is low, and so people are starting to think this is a great way to save money. So instead of putting, you know, four people in an airplane, rental cars, cabs back and forth to the airport, you know, and hotels, why don't you save that money? You could, it's thousands of dollars to ship four people on an airplane, and you can go travel and stop where you want. And, you know, when we were kids, we used to stop at places like south of the border, you know, those really kind of unique, kind of funky places. And now you can do that. And the thing is, you can drive, you can bring your own snacks and save a lot of money. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And so many cars are really comfortable that it's okay to drive long distances right now. Oh, absolutely. Newer vehicles on the road are so much more comfortable for the long drive. They're safer. And part of that thing is that whether you have a new car or the typical old car on the road is 11 and a half years old, I think people forget that thing. Wow, you know, my car is 10 years old. And they, they forget to look at some of the basic maintenance, which could put you on the side of the road, especially with construction. And the number one thing I always tell people is before you leave, be like a pilot, do a walk around, look at your tires. That's like number one. Because no matter whether you're driving a little car or a big minivan or a truck, you still only have four things that touch the ground, and that is your tires. And one of the most important things is to check your tire pressure once a month, and then also check the tread depth. Now you can do that easily with a penny. I don't know if you remember the old penny test. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you put Lincoln's head directly into the tread, and if you can see the top of his hairdo, it's time to get some new tires. It's really easy to do, and if you're gonna buy new tires, I always tell people, look for an all-season tire. Now, you're in Nashville, but anywhere in the country where you live, because anyone could be watching your show, I always tell people, look at the tires and make sure to get a name brand tire. And part of that is uh, looking for an all-season tire because whether you have rain or you have snow, it, a lot of people don't want to change their tires, especially if you're a busy family. So Michelin makes this really great all-season tire called the Pilot Sport 3 Plus. It's an AS3 Plus. Now, one of the neat things about this tire is you can use it year-round. It has great wet and dry braking. And you may not think about that now, but when you're out there and you're driving to your destination and you've got a lot of rain, you're going to want to get a tire that has great traction. And Michelin Man has a lot of great tips also. If you go to their website about checking tire pressure and about learning about your tires, because I think once you start learning about it, you start realizing these are really an important part of getting me to where I need to go every day. I completely agree. I think that people seem to forget, you know, having a car <laughs> takes maintenance. And that's one of the things that people completely forget about is just checking their tires before they go on any trip. Right, absolutely. Now, one of the other things I tell people, you're obviously going to fill up with a tank of gas, but before you do, because you're going to, you know, get your car checked to your favorite mechanic, I always tell people, before you fill up with gas, there's natural impurities in fuel, and I don't think people realize that. And what it does is it causes stuff like this valve. It builds up in a lot of different engines. And this crud, as you, you might want to look at it, is pretty gross, but that builds up in a brand new engine. And so what happens is your car gets older and older, you have more buildup, which causes check engine lights, it causes pure poor fuel economy, and, and you know, maybe it doesn't have that performance it used to. So this is a really simple solution. You don't have to be a mechanic. Tecron makes this really great product. It is the Concentrate Plus, and it's a complete fuel system cleaner. You pour it in your gas tank, you fill up, you're going to fill up anyhow before you leave. And what it does is it literally cleans the valves off. And this is an example of what a clean valve should look like. And you can see the difference when that fuel goes down into the engine. And the Tecron product goes in and it actually cleans the engine valves. And so in one tank full, you've got clean valves, gives you better fuel economy, better performance, and it's better for the environment, which I really like. What should people do to get their vehicles ready for extended road trips? You know, should they be packing any emergency kits? Like what kind of things should they well, be doing? Well, first off, you should go to your favorite ASC certified mechanic. Have them do everything under the hood. There's nine fluids. They need to be checked and cleaned if necessary. Filters as well. Hoses and belts. Wiper blades people forget about. And then an emergency kit's really important. An emergency kit should have, obviously, a tire pressure gauge for checking your tires. That's kind of something everyone should have in your car. And I prefer the digital gauges versus the stick gauges. Uh, also, you should carry jumper cables or a jump starter, a tire inflation product, flashlights. Uh, I like these LED flares instead of the, uh, the uh, triangles or the striking flares. They're good, they're magnetic, they're reusable. So all these type of basic emergency kits, and all this fits in this little teeny bag. So don't tell me it's going to take up a lot of room in your trunk. It doesn't take up that much, and it should be in your vehicle all the time. Where can we go for more information? You can go to... Um, 
Obviously, you can go to our website, which is videopump.tv, or you can go to my website, laurenfix.com, and for tire information, michelinman.com. Lauren, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today, and I can't wait to share this information with my reviewers. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.